Hello everyone, Allie here and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you so much for joining me here on another episode of Allie's Treasure Trove. Today we're going to be doing something that I have never done before. And you might be like, Allie, you're not wearing the picture in the thumbnail. Or maybe I am, who knows, hopefully this goes better than expected. Or not as poorly as it possibly can. But today we are going to be making a cosplay. So I'm using the word making loosely. I did order this, um... I don't remember what it's called, but I'll link all of the things I got on Amazon, this dress, which I did order two copies in case I ruin the first one, thinking ahead, and everything else that I got. So I got my wig, which is, uh, I'm going to try this on, of course, when I do my makeup test towards the end of the video, because it's supposed to be ombre here, but it looks like it's more than it should be, so it might not be great coloring there. And then, of course, we are making now, so this is actually what got me to pull the trigger on making this cosplay. I've always wanted to be Nell, but I did find this, I guess, 3D printed skull on Etsy. So I'll link that as well. But we are going to be cutting up this outfit, testing my makeup, testing my wig, getting ready for Megacon. The goal of mine is for when you guys see this video, yesterday on Saturday is when I'm wearing the Nell, as long as everything goes right. But I'm excited and very nervous to try this out. Just, I've never made a cosplay before. I've never even altered anything before. I've also never worn tape before. If you guys are seeing weird lines, it's because Nell is famous for the under, which is even censored by the bleach volumes. So I do have some bleach volumes here with the Nell outfits where it's the rags and major flax. I don't know if you guys have spotted that box in the background. But I also have my copy of the art book, Bleach Jets, to use for reference. Because there are lots of differences between Anime Nell and Manga Nell. So Manga Nell, this is more white. This kind of has like a, I want to say like weathered look to it. Uh, Anime Nell has a teal hair color. Manga Nell is just straight up green. She also has a lighter colored outfits in the anime than she does in the manga. So I know this is dark even compared to manga now, but this is what I could find for just long neck because she does have the the collar that is frayed and then long the sleeves that are frayed. This is what I could find in the size in any form of green. So that is what I'm going with here today. So it's going to be a little bit of an alt color now, but I'm excited and very nervous to go ahead and see how this goes. Like I said, I ordered two copies of this outfit just in case like I miscut something or Oh, something goes wrong. I don't have to be like, oh, no panic order another one. I already have a backup one to go. Plus, I mean, this is pretty cute anyways. I mean, it's actually a lot thicker than I expected. So it's kind of too hot for Florida, but maybe in the winter I could wear it. So reduce, reuse it, recycle about this brand. Like I said, I'll put the Amazon links down below. I'm going to actually move this stuff out of the way in the moment. And we're going to take a look because there are, like I said, a good amount of differences between anime and manga now. I was trying to find some good panels to take a look at before we got into this. So Nell is on this volume cover, but I don't think she's actually in volume number 34 all that much. Most of the Nell versus Neutra fight is in number number 33. So there's a nice Nell transformation panel. And Nell in the anime does have like a connecting strap between the top and the bottom. Based on the volume 34 cover, and yeah, right here, she doesn't have it. So that is something I was worried about not being able to construct properly. I think I'm just going to cut the pieces separate because this is this is quite tight. We'll see how well the pieces stay together. I guess I could always like sew it real quick to like a very cheap pair of underwear and then just like wear it as like a one piece kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so there is no connector strip, so I don't have to worry about that. I just cut the top, I cut the bottom, I cut the sleeves, I, I ruin this up here, and then we should be good to go in theory. So I want to look in Bleach Jet now. Yes, I could have looked prior to us. Oh, that's cool. The Soul Society logo is embossed on the side. Yes, I could have looked prior to us getting started here, but I also kind of just wanted to flex my art book. What else do y'all expect from me, you guys? All right, so I'll put this back next to... Oop. Good thing that hit that kind of flat on the side, otherwise that would have been a bad corner. Maybe I should not have flexed my art book. But welcome this new Pleosaurus or whatever. Its name is Nessie. I saw it at GameStop, and I was like, this is adorable. I don't even know what it is. Apparently it's from Apex Legends. But look, he's like a little pouch. 
storage. I love him, but yes, this is my new dinosaur. I love being able to just get stuff and put it on the shelf and then write it off as office decor. It's one of my favorite things about being a content creator is just like I get to share just such cool stuff with everybody that it's like, wow, this actually serves a purpose to my work because I used it in the video or I mentioned it or it was on display or whatever it may be. So we do have a few volumes here. Okay, so ooh, this is cool. So we got Ichigo and Renji here and then Aizen and Ichigo on this side. Or no, that's Hitsugaya upside down. I hate Hitsugaya. Angry midget, man. Which... <sighs> I was thinking about it earlier today. Ooh, Olkiora is on this side. Olkiora and Grimjowl. And then this is Rukia and Byakuya here. So that's really cool. I Kubo's art style, especially towards the end of the series, just seeing his art growth. Ooh, and I like the way it's not attached there. So that way it does. This thing is falling. I forgot that I had this on my head, to be honest. But Kubo's art style, especially towards the end of the series for me, is like peak. Like just, ah, uh, so good. Ooh. Maybe I should bring up, actually, let me actually go to this window so you guys can see what I'm looking at a bit. We're looking for Nell reference pictures. Also, I didn't realize, but inside my package, I mean, I look through this, of course, when I got it back in 2018. And then today, actually, this morning, when I was running around, I went to Joanne Fabrics to get, like, real scissors. I was like, you know, I don't think I could cut these up with my work scissors. So I went and I got fancy scissors and whatnot. And then I went to the bookstore and actually found, I was like, oh, there's an English copy of Burn the Witch. That's cool. So I bought that. And then when I was pulling out Bleach Jet from the box to uh, get started here today, I was like, oh, I have a Japanese volume of Burn the Witch. <laughs> and I apparently had forgotten about that. So this looks like some Four Colma, all that beautiful picture of Nemu. I would love to do a Nemu cosplay as well. Nemu, I feel like would be easier. I just order like a short... Ooh. Bleach has such beautiful and kick-ass women. Oh, oh, Neutra. But all right, so here is the, the Nell picture. Nell, Manga Nell doesn't really have a lot of sleeves. Also, her outfit is more in tatters. So we're, I think we're going to do like a wombo combo. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ass note with the... His mask down is weird, dude. Or that looks like Neutra. I don't know. There's a, pic there's a really weird looking ass note in here. There's Nell. That doesn't help much. It's weird because in this coloration she has more of the um she has more of the anime hair color. Or he may never fits in anything. Or he may just kept getting more and more thick as the series progressed. Not that that's a problem, but like it's just like Kubo, calm down, dude. Thank you, but like Kubo, calm down. Alright, so I feel like this is actually a bigger picture. I, they censored, like, some of the English volumes. Instead of having Bleach up here, it's like, oh no, there's boobs on screen. We must cover it. And I laugh at Viz for doing that. And yet, I'm also, I'm not sure if this is going to be an age-restricted video or not. So I'm, like, roasting Viz for, like, censoring the cover. And then I might not even make this, like, a video that, like, everyone can watch. I don't know, just, I just want to maybe err on the side of caution. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Well, we are looking for Nell reference pictures. Do, 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 Shinji. Ooh, look at that. It's, uh, Halloween Rangiku. Furry. Ugh, sucks. But I don't like Hitsugaya, and yet I do actually have an assortment of Hitsugaya merch. And by merch, I mean my laptop bag is a Hitsugaya bag. Ooh, hey, Nell. See, Nell there with the lime green. That's more of her, her manga hair color. And that's not the outfit I'm looking for, though. It's a good outfit. Good fit. Fit passes the vibe check, or fit passes the vibe check, but not what I was looking for. Oh, that's the other. Mashiro, I think. Kubo knows what the people want. He knows that the girls want men in suits. And the dudes want girls in bikinis. And then also girls want girls in bikinis. Caters to all audiences. Do, 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 do. All right, now that's not the right outfit. There's a really creepy art of ass note in here. Where is it? More beach. I always forget what her name is. I don't remember. 
Well, there's not as much Nell in here as I was hoping. So I might have to actually flip through volume 33 and see if I can find some good pictures. And then I'm going to take a Sharpie and for where I want to cut, I'm going to mark under so that way I cut above. And we're going to see how that works out. <laughs> I will obviously not take my dress off and cut it on camera. And I will mark it off on camera and then I'll come back and we'll evaluate whether the fit works or not. All right, maybe, let me go back to the volume two. I just I feel like I've seen Nell in here before. This is a sorted end of volume discussions with Kubo, of course, in its original Japanese. I don't know why Jet never got brought over to English. This is a really awesome art book. Lots of amazing pieces. I love collecting art books, so as soon as I saw this was announced, I knew I had to have it. It was quite pricey. If I remember, it was like 150 like even maybe 200 range when I ordered it back in the day off of Emmy Emmy. I think it was the first thing I might have ever bought from Emmy Emmy. And like I said back there, I still have the original box packaging. So. Rangiku. Yeah, so there's that Nell. Feels like my tape might be slipping a little bit. And this is my first time with the tape, so. All right, so the Jet Art Book Flex ended up just being a flex. We didn't really achieve much from there, so let's just go back to the face cam. I feel like my, I, every time I kick soda for a little bit, I feel like my skin like vastly improves. And I hate that it's like, I've, I've figured out what it is, because I do like, I love, you know, what is Allie without Diet Dr. Pepper or Dr. Pepper Zero? Those are literally ingrained into the channel. The main channel has literally a tiny, a tiny can emote for channel members of a Diet Dr. Pepper can. I can't stop. I'm like, what do I do? It's all oh, in moderation, but I can't. I can't be left alone. I can't be left alone. Can't be left alone with uh, Dr. Pepper. It will just, all of it just gone. Just gone skied. All right, so let me go back to checking. That's when she's a horse. Neutra being a douche. Do, do, do the usual business. Also good to know that the outfit is much longer in the back. Of course, just the front pops. It's just because Nella's bigger in the front. And it's funny, if you look at this picture here, if you look at this one here, you can see her clothes. It's like, I know that it's like, oh, well, that, that, that's the neck part. I'm like, okay, cool ball. I see what you're trying to do here. But so there's the side one. She does have like, sometimes she has like this little strand across. That's why I was hoping for a better picture of Nell. But the volume cover doesn't have it. And she doesn't have it here. So I think this is just going to be our main point of reference. I really don't want to hold the book open like this, but it'll be for a little bit. Nell cover can hold up now. So she does have to the shoulders. So I'm going to take, doo, doo, doo. just going to take a Sharpie. I'm going to take this off too. So that way it doesn't cloud my vision. I'm also gonna put away actually my art book because it has a very delicate, well, I'm gonna put it in here and then I'll put it away afterwards. But it has a very like, you touch the surface and it gets very fingerprinty. So I wanna not have this touch a bunch of stuff. I usually don't like, and by usually, I mean, I, I wish this was a different surface. Because for some reason, a lot of like hardcover novels also use this type of surface. And if you ever buy them at Target or whatnot, you try to peel the sticker off, like it leaves a weird ring on the actual surface of the book and it drives me insane. So I don't buy the ones with stickers on them. It's just this like velvety feel where it feels luxurious and it looks cool, but in practice, it's very annoying. So, all right, so this has been secured. I'm not putting it in that box, that's too much. This can be taken off. And then did my tape slip? I felt like it slipped a little bit. Like I said, it's my first time using the tape. So that way we can get the, the Nell special underneath. 
Not too much though, because of course I need to be able to. But uh, do 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 do. So she kind of goes to the arm. So I'm gonna, these poor sleeves are gonna just get. Uh, I'm gonna try and make it like look really, really crappy on purpose, so that way it has her worn look to it. And all right, so we want to go about probably about here. So I'll mark. All right, and then on the other side as well. You know, I do actually have a fabric ruler, which is what I use for packing. Where is it? Here it is. This is how I, what I use to measure the uh, packages. So from the dot to my elbow. Oh, nice, a nice two inches. Okay, easy. That is easy. And it doesn't necessarily need to be even. So we're just going to separate out Nell's pieces, I believe. I'm not going to try and keep them connected. I just feel like that would be more difficult than I am willing to or experienced enough to be able to create. And of course, also need to make sure it's longer on the back. So it's going to be like a, like I have triangle tops that are of course long in the front and then just like a bandeau in the back. It's going to be like that, but inverted. So I'm going to stand up. So this is like a quasi tutorial slash watch Ally struggle for probably at least an hour. If I had to guess, probably not planning thing, planning things out, taking an hour, but raw footage is definitely going to be pretty long. So let's make sure this is not riding up. So that way it's not like too big or whatever. All right. Okay, I put those marks and then we'll go around. I'm not going to mark the neck because I'll need to do that in post. Nell has a pretty low set on her hips, but I do want to wear, I have like these little pair of shorts under. So I'm going to mark it in like this area. And with my shorts idea, it doesn't necessarily work. There's also, if you guys want to mark like really close to where you want to cut. There are like water removable markers, like disappearing markers. I just didn't want to spend like $11 because that's how much they were at the Michaels I went to. They're 11 bucks when I can just cut below. So that was my, that was my idea. So let me make sure where I kind of want to mark here, but if I bend over to pick something up, it needs to be long enough. But then again, I also have the shorts. I think about here. Okay. So I made my marks using our references. And I'll be back with what may or may not look okay. So let me... Y'all ain't ready for this. Orlando's not ready. Y'all ain't ready for now. This looks good. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I might have to like pin this or something. And I need to, this one, this kind of just looks like garbage. So I still, I gotta mess with the, I gotta give it the arms more of like the tattered. Well, this doesn't look bad. This one doesn't look so good. Passes the lift test. I mean, I'm all covered up anyways. All right, let me get more comfortable and then we'll get into our makeup test. 
I have returned. This time I actually snapped back into the place that I should be. And I don't have everything I need yet, so. Going to, of course, need our supplies for the wig. No, I actually have a open wig cap here. So I have a sealed one. I'll keep that sealed. Wig caps tend to tear quite easily. Uh, I should have some clips. Yep, we got clips in here. All right, take those out. I'll put the wig cap on and then we'll do the makeup test. I have, I got this today. I, from what I learned from cosplaying as Gritty, <laughs> is I'd much rather cover my face with like eyeshadow than cover myself with face paint. So that is what I am going to be doing is I'm going to outline and then they didn't have a matching color. Apparently they used to make it, but it was discontinued. But this pink should either be one of these or one of these or one of these or one of these. So I, I have options to find this pink. We'll, uh, once I get my, I guess I get my hair situated first, then I'll test on my hand and see which eyeshadow color is the best match. But first things first, we're going to do our wig cap. And the best thing about this is I actually, it looked, when I walked over, I can pull it down further. So that's, that's for show for now doing stuff. I can pull it down. It's fully covered. So well, like I said, I'm all strapped up anyways. So it's not... All right, so good thing I, I, I had this, because I'm like, how do I put this thing on? you think I'd be used to putting on wigs by now, but... I think I want this lower, actually. Lower my head. And I'm not going to use the... Uh... I'm going to use actually one of the flat ones. If I could get it out of my hair. Is this just, this bunches up a bit. So let me, I'll just grab, oh, look green, that's a nice green color. So I'm hoping this wig looks good. I mean, it's very last minute. I was tempted to order a different one when it came in and then I was like, I don't think it matters enough for me to. Uh... Nice, quit sticking to the tape. It's a very rude of you outfit. Very rude, very rude. I didn't want to buy another one. I was like, this would be fine. So we'll see. We'll see. Now oh, this wig cap has a hole in it. Well, good thing I have the backup one. Rude. Yep, this giant hole over here. All right. Step five, we got to pull it. All the way through. This is a very uh, mediocre, to say the least, application of the wig cap, but yeah, we'll see. I'm more so wanting to make sure that I can get the cheek part correct, which where did I put the volumes? I put it back there. I need this back. I'm going to need this. Do, 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 do. Which one is the stuck one? Ah, it's this one. I keep fixing the other one, but it's that one. So goes like to here. It really nicely actually follows that. It shouldn't be famous last words. I mean, I thought this would be harder than it was. I mean, I know I still need to a little bit just to make it more raggedy, but this was not as hard as I thought it would be. Knock on this empty noggin. 
All right, so go ahead. Oh, no, I'm not going to clean my face first. So this is what I picked up at MAC. It's Talking Points Lip Pencil. So it's this color, which I felt was a, a good color match. So I feel like this is going to be in either the Nyan palette that I have, or I think it's going to be in one of the Morphe ones. So this one doesn't look... The Disney one, I think, is going to be a no, just based on first glance. The, the Nikita color looks like it might. It's not a bad match. Let me check some of the night. Of course, it'll be more, more vivid when I have primer on and use a brush and whatnot. What about Gorgeous Gangsta out of the Nyan palette? No, I think the Nikita one is going to work the best. Let's check the Marielle Amorcito. Actually, I think the Amorcito is going to be the best. And which is convenient because I think that's actually a face powder. Shade Amorcito is an exclusive pressed pigment designed to be used on the cheeks only. How convenient. I'll probably bring the Nikita palette with me as well. I need to figure out what looks I'm going to be using for my other cosplays. I have decided that I am going to bring Tifa, which my Tifa, my fancy Tifa costume I ordered from overseas is running late. It won't get here in time unless it shows up in the next 48 hours. It needs to show up before I leave on Thursday morning. So if it, even if it arrives on Thursday, I can't tell what's going on with the tracking though, because it's coming from Spain. It's like some tracking thing I've never used before. I don't know, it's called Zolaire. It's in, it's in Spanish. And like Google Translate to English is not doing, doing so hot. So I don't know. I don't know where it is. I don't know. It seems like it's in transit from Spain to the U.S. So I mean, if it can go through customs real quick or whatever. It's showing the expected arrival date is like 524, so like next Wednesday. So that'll be unfortunate. So I, but I mean, I mean, my Tifa looks cute anyways. I'll just bring the Tifa that I have. I've worn it before. And I was like, I don't know what to do. Do I want to just wear normal clothes on Sunday? And then I was like, why don't I just go as poison? Because I don't just have the whole weekend just wearing stuff I don't normally wear. And then if I get tired of it, I'm just going to wear normal clothes. And I feel like that's fine. What eye look should I use for now? Because I usually start with the eyes. I kind of want to use these colors here, Bud and Tex. I had been actually thinking about it prior. Uh oh, my pencil. My lip pencil. Come back. Uh, I kind of want to match the blue in the wig to the eyeshadow. I think that'd be cute. So we're going to test it out. If it doesn't look good, then I'll do a different selection. Let me look at the Nikita palette. That way I don't have to bring a bunch of stuff. I'll still bring a bunch of stuff. No, I don't think those blues will work. I keep throwing things. So let's get... Oh, look at this. Nine minutes in. I've done nothing in the, co in the uh, makeup test portion. Except put a wig cap on poorly. Oh, as always, I like to start with the eyes. Because if I want to abandon ship, it's easy to clean off. And my, my slate is blank. I don't have to worry about... Deleting my eyeshadow around anything. So. If my skin looks nice, I feel like I probably won't put foundation on while I'm at Megacon. Like, maybe I will for pictures and then, like, take it off, like, Instagram pictures so I look fresh and then, like, take it off. Because it's going to get gr crunchy. Crusty. Grungy. It came out cr crunchy. Uh, it's going to get a bit crusty. Um, just, just being like, you know, like 95 outside and a bunch of people jam packed into the convention center means it's not going to be that much, not going to be that much cooler inside. So, see. all right, now let's see what text looks like. Actually, let's just, let's just load up my eye with bud. That sounded weird. Well, let's just see what this looks like. Just straight up. We're testing. The bud color. A 
Why why would a horse girl in the desert that switched from child form to a to a Arankar form have makeup? So what is that on Nell's face? Is it like a birthmark? Is it a tattoo? Did Kubo explain it? Do I just not remember what it is because Kubo explained it? Let me know in the comments down below what it is. I'm assuming it's like a weird birthmark. Because why, why would she have a tattoo? How would she even get a tattoo? Unless it's like a s weird scar? I don't know. Hopefully this color looks good with the wig. Because I like the way it looks on its own. And I'm just going to wear flip-flops. I mean, Nell's just barefoot in the desert. But you can't be barefoot, so I'm just going to wear my flip-flops. Alright, so looking cute on the Urban Decay Wild West. Put that back in my tower for now. You guys can see my little tower of makeup that I have. And by little, I mean giant tower of makeup. All right, let's put on our primers, our assorted primers. Primer was the key to actually looking decent as gritty. So hopefully it does the job here as well. I'm gonna have to fix that. That's driving me nuts. You're driving me nuts. Do 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 do. I wish I had like um, wish I wish this would stand up well on its own. Oh, it's because the hole's there. That's why it's coming through. That makes sense. I was like, how are you just breaking out of the wig cap? Because there's a hole. All right, well, that's, that's pretty much off my forehead now. You have a little bit on this side as well. Not as bad, though. Not nearly as bad. It was cool. I was, while well, I was doing mail, so this is Tuesday night. I forgot what day it was. This is Tuesday night. While I was doing mail, I was uh, listening to the Lightning Radio. It was good stuff. And I was like, oh, no, it doesn't seem like they really showed up to play today. At the, you know, I tuned in halfway through the second, seeing, you know, shots on, it was like 10 shots on goal. I'm like, bruh, it's been two periods. Why y'all got 10 shots on goal? But then I started watching, and then we won 4-1, so. I tuned in, it was one nothing Panthers, and then I listened throughout, and then uh, we scored three more, four goals. And it was good stuff. It was fun. It was fun. I love, I love, was it Dave Mishkin? He's just... I love hearing people so excited. It's ah, good stuff, good stuff. The guy on the intermission reports, I didn't like him. I didn't feel like he was like high quality hockey common like a commentator. I wasn't I wasn't a fan of whoever was on the intermission report. He just he talked he talked a little weird to me. But I love listening to the, the people that play call the game. So we where is my book? No, hello. No. Oh. I'm just kind of going to follow the shape of my cheekbones. Let me pretend to do it here. All right. We're going to see how this goes. You guys are going to see why I don't use any kind of liner because I can't draw straight lines. And then we're going to do the foundation. Now, I think we kind of have to do the pink first. I don't know. This is why we're doing a test video.
actually not a bad outline. Like, I know it's not even. But this is all when I fill it in, it can go in. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right, thank you, volume 34 cover. And what did I, what brush did I use? I used the, I had used, I think my, I had done under eyes. Ooh, I maybe should have done my concealer first. Hmm, we'll see. I used my concealer brush for my under eyes. Because the thing is, I could always put it on after and then put more on top. Where's my concealer brush? It's a big chunk brush. Here it is. Here it is. No. Wrong one. It's right next to it, though. All right. So, we're going to see how this goes. We're going to... We'll see how this goes. So, amorcito. But I, I... Ever since I saw Nell, I always wanted to be Nell. I just... Nell is so... I like that. I love Nell's character. And she is so stunning. And this color match is great. Yes. Okay. So this is supposed to be like a super highly pigmented blush, I think. But I, I did, when I was doing around the under eyes with the uh, Juvia's Plays palette for the orange for gritty, I I liked actually the way it lasted. I liked the way it looked. It looked pretty good for the orange. So that's why I was like, instead of messing with face paint and then being stained like on Sunday or having to worry about, you know, struggling to get it off or like, you know, just this leaking pink. And I was like, let me just pink up my face with eyeshadow. Or in this case, face pigment, even better. This is probably going to use, like, the entire quad, though. Well, not in the test, of course, but between the uh, two applications. I wouldn't be surprised if this uses most of this portion of pigment. The one thing I think I want to remember for Saturday is not to do such a harsh line. I think, as you can see, the border. Pretty clearly, actually, you can see the border. It is a good color match, but you can still see the ring, which makes me want to try the Nikita color on top. See what happens. It kind of brightens it up a little bit, but I don't know that that helps very much. It's not, it's not great. It's not bad. Better than I expected for like first time ever so i think that's done i think and now i think i'm just gonna do a normal application of makeup and uh, see how that goes i don't know how well it's going to go which is why i'm hoping i just have like really nice skin <laughs> over the weekend so i don't have to do like foundation or anything but i feel like leaving it like this would be weird so my sponge is still wet good 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 let's go ahead and put on some foundation
Oh, I wonder if I drew the outline and then put foundation on top and then filled in with the eyeshadow, if that would be a good idea. I feel like it probably wouldn't. But that might help the lines not be as harsh. I don't know that it's that big of a problem, though. I'm curious. I want to take some pictures and uh, see what it looks like. See what it looks like with uh, good lighting. I feel like it probably won't be that noticeable, to be honest. Like, I'll do my makeup in an alley chat and be like, this looks cute in the mirror. And then look at it on the video footage and be like, that doesn't look cute. But then I take an Instagram picture and I'm like, wow, flawless, 10 out of 10. It's crazy how lighting can really just make makeup that's on video, I feel like, looks kind of cakey. And then in person, like, for me, without my glasses on, I'm like, 10 out of 10 looks great. And then just... In Instagram photos, I'm like, wow, I look flawless. So it's uh, makeup's weird like that. But uh, let me put on my. I'm almost out. I'm almost out. The Sephora I went to, I ended up going to the Mac counter, and that's how I found. Because I was hoping, you know, like an Urban Decay would have like a, a match, like an eyeliner, like a really bold eyeliner, and then an eyeshadow. But the Sephora, Sephora's inside JC Penney's. I'm like, are y'all going out of business? They have literally nothing. At first, I assumed it was like Rona delays on shipments, and then it was like, oh, it's it, you know, it's like Christmas season, so people are buying stuff, so they're just sold out. They literally just haven't like restocked. Like every single counter was empty. It was crazy. I am definitely getting pink on my sponge. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, my, my sponge is partially pink, but I don't know if that was just, I didn't put enough of the actual concealer. Maybe it's because I was talking. Maybe I should do this without talking. Hold on. Can you stop sticking to the tape? I, I did a lot of repositioning on the tape, like on and off, so the tape doesn't have like a really good fit, but it was crazy. I when I was looking into how like how do you get to stay up, you know, it was like tape, and I was like, really, I don't know how this can really work, and then I don't know how it can be comfortable. And I remember I was reading stories, you know, like you know, women just getting rid of bras and just using the tape, and I'm like, you know, this is actually kind of nice. You know, I don't have that just shoulder just as every every t TMI, but every day when I get home, I have like. Very, very large red rings on my rib cage, like you know, the upper rib cage, and then right here, it, like sunk into the skin. It's I don't, I'm not someone that like I think about it like while I'm wearing it. Like some people, you know, always the memes like, "Oh, women as soon as they get home." I'm I'm not like that. I like I like being secure at all times. <laughs> now I don't like stuff flopping around. So for me, I'm like, oh, I don't know tape, but I'm actually impressed. I mean, I feel like that's about the wiggle room that I have normally, so. I was actually really impressed with that. You know, I don't feel like, uh, are you still wet from earlier? I don't like this. The more I use this sponge, the more I don't like it. It's, it's The more I've used it, I feel like it's gotten more porous, and I feel like it leaves a very splotchy surface, maybe. I might have some shades of pink on my face, but I, I'm, uh, I'll bring more sponge. I'll have more clean sponges when I go. So my face, my foundation has like shades of pink in it. It's because it's the sponge. That's not looking so hot anymore. Let me put more pink on. Let me put more pink on. I'm not going to need any more of that. So I'm not going to need any more of my other primer. Let me get my very pink brush. 
Hopefully there's not like a ton of fallouts. I mean, there is a lot of space if I put it towards the top. Even if I have fallout, in theory, it should just go down further into the portion that's supposed to be pink. So it all works out. So I think the answer as to whether I should do my foundation and concealer first or do filling in the pink has been answered. I think I should fill in the pink afterwards. Because actually, like I like I was wondering, I was postu postulating. Oh. Postulating. I think that's the word. Where it's like, if I put my foundation stuff on top of the line, would it help the line not be so harsh? And like, I know right now it's not perfectly even. So I will start smaller and build outwards. And then if it, since I'm doing this after primer, if I, if I completely mess up, I just clean off my face. And then all I'm missing is the primer for when I draw the lines. But I think this is okay. I think this is okay. All right. So I'm going to... Now, this was already on high power. Okay, so now we wait. Let me get some water. Honestly, I feel like this is going better than I expected. <laughs> so then I'll put... I'll put some, I guess, blush. Like, regular blush. I'll use this quad. I'll use this. I'm not gonna put highlight on. I'll put I'll put uh, I'll chisel my jaw though with uh, contour. But all right, where is my blush brush? This Bobby Brown quad. Yeah, Bobby Brown quad. I think is technically a highlighter, but I've used it for I've used it for blush on uh, many occasions. You guys have probably even seen it in other alley chats. So. Because again, Nell, this is her stuff on her face. It's not like the blush, it's just that's her her face. It is lifting the pink a bit. <sighs> I don't want to use too much of this pink. I'm worried I'm going to like hit pan unexpectedly and then not have pink. But it makes sense that me pulling the brush over it pulled some of the the powder off the cheek. All right, so I'm going to let that set and then we're going to chisel. And then we'll put our wig on and hope that goes well. And then our hats! Well, our, our skull. And then we take a nice thumbnail picture. And then we decide if I want to put anything on my lips or not. No, what do you got going on? Nothing. Nell's lips are literally just skin color. Okay. Might have a nude over there. I might just leave it like this. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll, I'll link, I think this would be an interesting, I'll link everything that I've used. I'll have to find the packaging. I put it for recycling, but I'll find the packaging for the uh, two different pairs of scissors that I use to cut this outfit. I'll link this. I'll link my tape. I'll link, uh, I mean, I could write out what I have. Too Faced, Marial, palette, Palettes, Amorcito, MAC, Lip Pencil, and Talking Points. Urban Decay, Wild West, and Bud. My my Fenty, just foundation and whatnot. They can make this into like a tutorial video. Tutorial, how to become Nell on a budget. <laughs> this was pretty cheap. And you can see some of my tape. I just didn't know how to use the tape, so I was just like, stay up! 
You monsters, I need y'all to stay up. Y'all are too much. Like that. So it should be more flush. I know you can see it under, but it should be more flush once I. I just didn't want to waste too much tape like over and over again. So I just piled it up and I was like, they're up. That looks that that looks like an anime girl shape, sure. If uh if uh breasts were gravity defying, that would look what they'd look like. Alright, now time to do my chin and then I was just like, we gotta save, we gotta save the eyeshadow. And then I'll have to I'll have to spray down my face again once I chisel. Which I earlier today I didn't do a very good job of chiseling. I did it like right up here, so it made my face look round. I was also on the phone while I did my makeup earlier, so it didn't look great. That looks good. Do I cite Tiny Fan? I got it at Target. It's like Trava something. <laughs> Alright, so in theory the makeup is done. This is poor sponge. Poor sponge. Alright, in theory the makeup is done. Um, this my mom got like $12. is like some like doorbuster at Ulta a couple years ago. Which, I've used it a little bit. It's just, I like this palette. The problem is the reds are much darker than they look in the pan. So I don't use them that much. I use more of the neutral sides. It's just, I, I have a, I like dark colors. I just don't like the way I look with dark colors. I don't know what it is. I tend, I think it's just because being more dark against my skin tone, it's much more noticeable. I feel like I'm just horrible. Anytime I put on like dark blue or something, it's like super messy. I think it's just because I'm not great at putting on makeup. Like, I, it look, it's passable. It looks good. You know, I'm not trained or anything, so it's not, like, super clean. Like, if you really, like, zoom in, it's... You guys really zoom in. It's not, like, super crispy application and whatnot. You know. It's it's it fine. It looks good in pictures. Like, it's whatever. So, I think it's just because I haven't gotten to like the next level of talent yet that it just is very very noticeable when i make mistakes with dark colors which makes me stay away from dark colors but all right fashion wig here i comes with fake eyelashes i'm never gonna use those i will not put glue on my eyelids mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. that's too much that's too mm. i appreciate appreciate it never gonna get used all right Fashion wig. Comfortable and natural. Alright, so it was just the way it was folded in the bag. It's not as... I was. It looked like it was like all the way down to here on the, the black roots. Because I, I actually really liked it. And I was like, that would be cute for like everyday wear. Now, I can't be bothered to like put legs on, wigs on every day. But I was like, if I did... Because I always joke, like, I'm going to get fed up with my hair and just shave my head and wear wigs. And I was like, this would be cute. And that's what, like, the Amazon reviews for were, like, just people wearing this, like, every day. I was like, if they could wear it every day, I could wear it for, like, a weekend convention. Like, that sounds good. All right. I need, oh, where are my scissors? My scissors I left in the bathroom for where I was cutting up the tape. Tiniest knife, are you up to the, the chop here? If I... Hey, it worked. Good job, tiniest knife. Thank you for your service. All right. I always hate when I take wigs out of the package and then they're all, like, messy. I'm like, man, you look really cute in the package. And it's like, can't believe you've done this wig. And the wig's like, Allie, that was you. It's like, I know. I have wig brushes and whatnot that'll bring. I'm not too concerned about it right now. Not too concerned. My big head always needs to put these on the, the, the furthest out loops. All right. I put the wig on from like the front, right? And then I squeeze around the back. So let's uh, let's see. Let's see. 
I don't even know what song that is. That's been my new, like, music. And when I'm putting this together, I'm assuming I'll do it with wet hair. And then have it dry into the wig cap so it dries flat. Yo, I am QAF, bro. Orlando ain't ready for this, okay? Orlando ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for this. The tape's not ready for this. I'm trying not to have anything egregious so I don't feel obligated to age restrict it. I'll look at the guidelines. I'll look at the guidelines. All right, tiny fan, I'm going to need you to turn the other way so you quit blowing the stray hairs in my face. It'll help if I could see where the stray hairs are. The unfortunate thing about cosplaying Nell, Poison, and Tifa is neither Nell nor Poison nor Tifa wear glasses. So am I going to be with glasses? I remember... Oh, my God. Yo! Yo! <laughs> this looks so... Good, okay? You guys don't understand how long I've wanted to be Nell for. I am so happy right now. <laughs> Alright. 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 Yes! Uh, I have to, I have to take a picture. I have to see what this looks like on my camera. I have to see what this looks like. This, I am so happy right now. Don't mind me, I'm just styling. I am adorable. I'm adorable. I am so cute. I am so cute. I would show you guys these pictures. Maybe I'll look, look, look. I'll post them. I'll post them there. I was going to show them to you guys on my phone, but I have pictures of me, like, so that I can investigate how the tape looks, and y'all can't see that. So, But I am so cute. Oh my goodness. This is, this is great. This is, I am so happy with this. The wig turned out, this is what I was hoping, that the, uh, the skull would cover the, like, darker parts. And then I feel like I look like a, a natural Nell. Like, if Nell's hair was blue, she probably had dark roots. I am so cute! Ah, I can't get over how cute I am. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. My lips look dry AF. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, I'm not going to put lipstick on because Tiny Fan's just going to blow it and then I'm going to get lipstick in my hair. So instead, I'm going to put on chapstick. Okay, 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 okay. This was worth it. This is like 40 minutes. I don't know how long in total. I think I got started. Yeah, it's about two hours. I got started like 10. So, and for me in total, all of this took like 10, 10, uh, two hours. 
So I think the, uh, the, the me plotting out and uh, mainly just looking at my Bleach Jet art book was about 20 minutes. So this video, I think, should be like about an hour. But it is definitely worth it. I... I can't get over how cute I am. I know I'm just tooting my own horn. Let me know if you guys think I'm cute in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys want me to quit my job at Titan and just become a full-time Nell cosplayer. I don't think that would pay the bills, but I'm sure y'all would send me suggestions in my DMs of how I could do that. I'll just ignore them. But I'm so excited. Orlando's not ready. Orlando's not ready. But all right. I meant to, before I get started here, pull up my Patreon outro stuff i feel like i should definitely have these memorized by now it's just i say them such less often i feel like actually i could i feel like i could i feel like i could so when i go to read it i'm not gonna look at the screen but that that does it here for this test i think this was a good test i think i have some adjustments i can make to the pink but i feel like it actually doesn't look that bad as is like if i didn't do a test video i and i just did this on saturday i'd be fine I'd be fine. And I am super excited to walk around. Now, I have to look at the schedule. Maybe I'll move Nell's... I feel like I just want Nell to be, like, the big event, which is why I want Nell on Saturday. But there was, like... I have to look... Because I think when I... I don't know if I was talking... I was telling my friend or you guys, but there, I was looking, actually, at the events page for MegaCon. There's, like, fun stuff. There's, like, these little workshops with, like, little free workshops where you can make your own little Among Us plushie. <laughs> And just, like, a lot of, like, cosplay anime heroes meet up and anime villains meet up. And then there's, like, the cosplay red carpet. And that seems like really fun events I want to do. So I'll have to look at the schedule some more. It seemed like those events were every day, which makes sense because people tend to do different cosplays on all days of the convention. So Thursday is going to be me getting settled. I'll go to the show floor and, like, poke around a bit, but I'm not dressing up. The idea is Friday is Tifa, Saturday, Nell... And then the big reveal. And then Poison on Sunday. So I, I am really excited to go. I'm really excited. I have some... I have one interview planned. I'm going to actually try and talk to somebody else. See if I can get two, like, interviews plans for contents. And I plan on making some TikTok and posting and just having a blast. So if you guys saw me... If you guys, like I said, today when you guys are watching, if you're at the show, I should be walking around as Poison. If you see me, don't be afraid to come say hi. And I hope you guys enjoyed Nell. So if you guys did enjoy this Nell tutorial slash test slash transformation, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me. Like I said, do you think I'm cute? I mean, if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, I'm sure you guys enjoy the way it looks. <laughs> but uh, you guys have any comments for me, go ahead and drop those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Alley Stars and Show family, you guys can tell I'm not used to having my hair down. I'm like, get this stuff out of my face. Get this stuff out of my face. But if you're not yet part of the Alley's Treasure Show family, I do cosplay content. I hope to do more. I hope to do more as time goes on. Usually it's just when I dress up for, like, certain, like, themed case breaks. But this is really fun. If you guys have an Alley Make a Budget Version cosplay challenge, let me know in the comment section down below. But, yeah, I love this. I love this so much. And if you're not yet part of the family, it's not 24-7 cosplay content, but I do have some stuff here. I hope to do more. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, I do have to give an extra special shout out to all of my patrons over on Patreon. See, we're gonna we're gonna see if this is a this is a test here. So I do have 10 gemstone miners, Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Jack Perez, Keith Mina, Mako, Marcel Mardini, Reese, Stephen Olivo, Stephen Bly, and TJ Christensen, and then two crystal collectors, Robert Loftus and Sean F. See, I do know the outro screens. I do know the Titan Cards outro screens. I bring them up because I'm nervous. And then I look at them even though I don't have to. And it makes me reinforce that I don't actually know what they are when I do. Proud of myself. <laughs> but thank you so much again to all of my patrons. Whether you're on a tier in which I say your name at the end of every video or not. This is why I didn't put lipstick on. I do appreciate your above and beyond support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. But yes, this does it here for this Alley Chat replacement. I hope that you all really enjoyed it. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all will join me next time. And by next time, I mean later tonight with our Final Fantasy video that I'm going to be recording. Hey, look at that, it's midnight. I'll be doing that next. We're going to the spooky tree. We're going to the spooky tree. So I'll be back later tonight with the new Final Fantasy IX gameplay episode. And then Tuesday, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out at another time. I forgot that I wanted to pre-record for Tuesday. 
Might have to take Tuesday off. Oh, you know what? I think I might cheat and put some ASMR on Tuesday so I don't have to do anything on Monday. If, all right, so the Lightning won four to one today. And then game two and three are over the next few days. Monday is game four. If there's a possibility, I mean, if the Lightning win game two and game three, I might, I might cough up, you know, just extended vacation. I might cough up like just for like a really nice ticket to go to game four and watch the Panthers get swept. So we'll see. So there's probably going to be ASMR on Tuesday. But anyways, that does it here for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all will join me next time as we unearth some more treasures here on Allie's Treasure Trove. Bye!